Hey everyone, one of the questions I'm seeing a lot on the social media pages is how do I get an image to rotate 3D? So I have one of my recorder karate rooms up here and you can see I have images that look like they're actually on the wall and not just sitting um, kind of on the picture. So I'm going to show you really quickly how to do that. So you're going to find the image that you want and you're going to copy it and paste it to the room that you're working on. And drag it to where you want it to go. Now it still looks like the perspective is not there. So when you do this, you're going to go up to um, picture format. There it is. And you're going to come down to artistic effects. And you're going to click on artistic effects options. And when you do that, this menu will pull up on the right hand side. This is usually closed when you get there. But you're going to come over here to 3D rotation. And when you do that, there are a bunch of presets that you can use. You can also play around with these. I think these are difficult to play around with, um, but if you want to, feel free. Um, I just use the presets because they're much easier. And to get it on the wall, I usually use this one. It looks like it's on the wall. I might want it a little bit bigger or the perspective just a little bit different. So you can change it. You can um, slide it a little bit bigger. You can even rotate it like this if you want to. That will throw off that one. but and pull it back. Okay, now, so right now this is in PowerPoint. Google Slides will not do this. Um, and if you try to just import your slides into Google Slides, Google Slides cannot read this, uh, and it will put everything back to how it was when you just kind of dropped it on the surface of the, the image of the picture. So what you have to do is you have to go to File, Save As, and you're going to come up here. I'm going to label it, which is 123, 123, so that I can find it quickly. And you're going to drop down to find the JPEG file image. And you're going to save it as that. I'm going to just drop it on my desktop so I can find it quickly. And it will ask you if you want to save all of the slides or just the one. I just fixed the one right now, so I'm going to click just the one. But if you have a whole bunch of slides that you need to save as pictures, of course, you would hit all slides. So I'm going to hit just one right now. Now I'm going to go over to Google Slides. And I'm going to import that image as a background. When I do that, it just takes that picture and imports it. If I did it where I just imported the presentation in, it would change it all and you would get super frustrated again. So I'm going to browse my desktop. I'm going to find my image, which is right here. And then I'm going to hit done. So now my perspectives are there. One thing that's a little frustrating about that is this is now a flat image, meaning you can't link those objects. So if you want to link an object to something else, you have to go in and you have to put a transparent shape on top of it. So you're going to go to shape and then choose your shape that you want. Put it over the object that you want to link and then you're going to change that into a transparent object make sure you fix the border too um, and then you can link that object to whatever it is that you're trying to get the students to click to if you have any questions feel free to email me or message me on any of the seats i'd be glad to help you have a great day